welcome back everybody. In this video, we're going to discuss the concept of the power rule for derivatives. And the power rule is a very convenient tool that allows us to find derivatives in a much quicker way. And it's a tool that we're going to be using a lot for the rest of the course. So to illustrate this rule a little bit better, I'm going to take all three of these functions, x squared, x to the power of three, x to the power of four, and I'm going to state what their derivatives are. And then we're gonna to try to see if there is a common pattern between the derivative of each of these functions and the original function. So to find the derivative of x squared, we would just put it into the definition of a derivative, the difference quotient here. So we got the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h, but since f of x is equal to x squared, f of x plus h is this x plus h squared minus f of x, which is just x squared all over h. And if you were to do the algebra here, we're not gonna do it in this video, but if you were to do the algebra, cancel out the h's and then plug in a value of zero for h, you would end up with two x. So this here, two x, is the derivative of x squared. And then following the same process here for x to the power of three, the derivative would be the limit as h goes to zero of x plus h to the power of three minus x to the power of three all over h. And if you were to find the derivative of this, if you were to do all the algebra, expand this and then uh, cancel out the h's, plug in zero for h, you would end up with a final derivative of three x squared. So three x squared is the derivative for the function x to the power of three. And then similarly, the derivative for x to the power of four would be the limit as h goes to zero of x plus h to the power of four minus x to the four all over h. If you do all of that algebra, which would be a lot of algebra, you would end up with 4x cubed. So 4x cubed is the derivative of x to the power of 4, 3x squared is the derivative of x to the power of 3, and then 2x is the derivative of x squared. So do you see some kind of pattern here with the function and its derivative? It's almost like we're taking the exponent bringing it down and then subtracting one from the exponent. So it's like we're bringing this two down in front and then we're subtracting one from the exponent. So two minus one is just one. And look how we're left here with an x to the power of one. Here, we bring the three down and then we subtract one from the exponent and we are left with x squared. Same thing here, we bring the four down, we subtract one from the exponent and we're left with x cubed. So if we try to generalize it, if we have a function x to the power of n, where n is any real number, then its derivative, if we follow this same pattern, we bring the n down in front and then we just subtract one from that exponent n. So this here is the power rule. And this power rule is going to save us a lot of time from now on when we're finding derivatives, especially when you get into functions with big exponents. So even here with x to the power of four, expanding x plus h to the power of four is not bad, but it's still a lot of work. You could use Pascal's triangle and doing all that algebra, you would end up with four x cubed or you could just use the power rule, bring that four down and then subtract one from the exponent to get the derivative right away, four x cubed. Now, x to the power of four is not too bad, but what if we have a function like x to the power of 10? Well, we're obviously not gonna do all this algebra, x plus h to the power of 10, that would be crazy to expand, but we can find the derivative really quickly using the power rule, because if you notice here, this 10 corresponds to this value of n. So the derivative of it, we just bring that 10 down and then subtract one from the exponent and we get 10 x to the nine. So instead of doing all that algebra, we can get the derivative right away using the power rule. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.